Yep. Right. So what we were just talking about is how when you get to here and there's tension in this arm, mm -hmm. so if this is tight and you're trying to guide it straight, mm -hmm. what happens is with the tension here and the hip turn, it pushes the club out. Mm -hmm. And then you're, you're too late. And at this point, then you're going to cut across it. Yeah. And it's going to spin yeah. out to the fairway that way. Right. So what you have to do is when you get back into here, mm -hmm. let this relax. Mm -hmm. Because like I said, if you were going to bust a table yeah. and break it with a hammer, yeah. while you're turned, you want to create energy this way. Yeah. So if you were to split the two, this would be back, and this is working up and down. Yeah. Right? Well, when you combine up and down mm -hmm. with a round, then it looks like this. Mm -hmm. So then you hammer here. Mm -hmm. Now the club comes from the inside. Mm -hmm. If you go back here and turn mm -hmm. first, yeah. and then hammer, it goes like that. So yeah. turning, yeah. hammering, turning, hammer first, and turn through. So if I exaggerated it and hammered without turning, mm -hmm. the club goes mm. way from the inside. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And then if I turned a little bit, away from the inside. But when you get your saber, you're going to be able to snap it over here and work on the arm speed because your hips are moving well and fast. Mm -hmm. But now when you synchronize it, you'll snap and rotate. Okay.